Welcome back to Menenberg's AP History videos. I am going to go through the SAQ. This is part three for those of you who have been watching. Uh, in the earlier videos, we explored an overview of the SAQ, and I'm going to just briefly go through that right now. Remember, the SAQ is a fifth of your entire AP History exam. That's APUSH, that's AP Modern World History, that's AP European History. So it's really important that you do well because the SAQ also provides the building blocks for your other writing tasks like the LEQ and the DBQ. Figure out how to do this and you're going to be in good shape for the rest of the writing. Okay? Now in the earlier video I also explained the first component of the ACE formula which is what we're highlighting in, these, in this series here. A stands for answer the question. So in the last video, that's what we went through. In this video, we're going to go through the C of ACE, citing the specific evidence. Now remember, in the overview video, we talked about how there are nine total prompts that you're going to have to answer in the SAQ. That's A, B, C for question one, A, B, C for question two, and A, B, C for question three or four, whichever one you decide to write on. Remember, you can choose between question three or four. But that's nine total prompts that you've got to ACE. So if you get it down, you're going to be in really, really good shape. But if you don't, you're going to struggle. And 20% of your AP grade is on the line. You better figure it out. OK, so our prompt from the previous video stays, stays the same. Analyze one reason why the mandate of heaven was developed by the Zhou dynasty in China. Now, again, this is not content you're going to be responsible for for the AP Modern World History test, but it's going to be helpful for our purposes. So just stay with us. Citing specific evidence. Option number one says, as the Shang Dynasty came to an end, Zhou leaders needed to justify their overthrow and install their own Emperor Wu. I like it. That sounds really specific. It gives me a reason, and it's related to the topic of the prompt. Zhou Dynasty, this is the previous dynasty, the Shang. Okay, we got Zhou leaders. We got a specific emperor named Wu. And here's again the reason they overthrew the Shang. And so in order to get the people to kind of follow them, they needed to provide a reason, mandate, for their own emperor to be legitimized, to be uh, approved of, to be, uh, you know, authorized to emperor. That's not a verb. That's okay. We'll move on. Okay, so that works. It's specific. And like I said, as a rule of thumb, you want to be able to take this, and it only should work for this prompt. If I can take this exact same thing and plop it in another answer for another prompt, Probably not specific enough, so keep that in mind. Option number two. So option number one works. Option number two. The mandate of heaven was the idea that a good ruler was in power because of the gods. Sure. Except that in our previous video, like we discussed, this option does not address the question properly. It answers what the mandate of heaven was, not why the mandate of heaven was used. See the difference? We're looking for why. This is a what. Okay? So that doesn't work. It doesn't mean you can't include this to like impress them, but you're not getting any points for it. So don't waste time or space. Last, the Chinese believed in many deities and wanted them to choose their rulers. Okay? That is, again, not inaccurate entirely. The reason it doesn't work, though, it's not specific enough. It's not. It doesn't even mention the Zhou. It mentions China, but look, if you study world history, and I have, I'm no expert, but I, you know, I think I could be wrong here, but the Chinese dynasties from the last several thousand years are not identical to each other. So it's worth noting the little differences that might have been in place with the Zhou and the predecessors, the Shang. So please don't generalize an entire people group that's been around for thousands and thousands of years and expect to get the point for specific evidence. You're not going to get it. So that's not specific enough. That's why that one doesn't work. OK? A couple of common errors for this. Uh, you're missing evidence or an example or an event. Like, again, you can't pin it down in time and place. So you talk generally, you know, trade became popular at this time. Oh, no, OK, that doesn't mean anything. Nail it down. Time and place, people, whatever. Uh, next, come on board, random evidence. OK, this is where you get into the I'm trying to impress the reader you know, syndrome. You think if you put in a bunch of stuff, it's the shotgun approach, right? You think about putting enough stuff in there historically, something's going to stick. Don't do it, people. Focus your thoughts. Really get specific and concise. And don't litter with a bunch of unnecessary details, OK? Yeah, we talked about specificity. Off topic is similar to random evidence. 
Uh, too much evidence is another problem like this. Okay, too much evidence is like, again, we're trying to impress somebody, but you don't have space, and you gave me so little about each piece of them that you're likely not going to get any of the points. So don't do that. The only reason I would consider doing that is if I have like two, two pieces of evidence, and I'm not quite sure about one, so I put in a backup just in case because I got time and I got enough space to kind of squeeze it in. Maybe, but I wouldn't necessarily suggest that. Instead, study, get prepared, and use what you know to get that one and get it right. Okay? In our next video, we're going to explain the last letter of the ACE formula, the E, which stands for explain or expand the evidence. I hope this one has been helpful for you, though. If you have questions at this point in time, please write comments. Probably want to watch this one or more times to kind of practice it and get it right, and then move on to this one. Remember, it's a total package. You've got to ACE every single prompt of the SAQ. And if you don't do one or do one and not the other, you're not going to get the points. So pay attention, and I'll see you next time.